Uh, well, as an actress, I would say um, it's been nice. It's been beautiful for me. Though um, I don't get to do some certain things I would really love to do based on public eye, but then it's been beautiful. Mm, I've learned to improve in what I do. Um, I've learned to be able to mingle with people generally and relate with people at large. I've learned a whole lot of things. Um, that which binds us is a family uh, story that um, talks about so many things. It talks about love, it talks about um, heartbreak, it talks about betrayal, um, it talks about a family value, and um, it also um, pinpoints how uh, one could um, bring broken families together. For me, I see family as puzzle, okay, and um, I want to believe that, despite the fact that it's been scattered everywhere, if one could, you know, be able to gather all the puzzle with, of course, some certain sacrifices, everything would definitely fall in place. So that, uh, that which binds us talks about all that and how to bring broken families together as one. The movie was directed by Desmond Elliott. I have myself, Uche Jumbo, uh, Messi Aigbe, uh, Chinyere Wifred, Alausa Toei, and then a whole lot of uh, others as well. Uh, working with um, Uche, Mercy, Desmond, aside, okay, Chinyere Wifred, it was like working with family because individually I've worked with every one of them one way or the other on this project or that project. So it was like treating uh, a family issue and then working with family. So it was just like a family set and then we all had fun all through. Um, my expectation for that which binds us is for uh, people out there to, to you know, relate with the story. Because, of course, it's a drama. And then get to know the importance of family value uh, majorly. But business-wise, I, 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 I hope it, you know, cut across as much as it can. And whereby um, it will touch a whole lot of, you know, my audience as I envisage. Uh, I expect people to enjoy it. I expect people to learn one or two things from it. And of course, I always expect to make money as well. Well, I didn't write the story originally. The story was written by um, Dio Farrori, but reading the script, I fell in love with it because it kind of touches some very important and vital issues in family. And I feel um, it's something I can put out there for people to learn from. And then that which binds us coming to cinema October 5th. Watch out. Um, that which binds us is coming to the cinema October 5th. It's going to be in all major cinemas nationwide from October 5th. Okay. That which binds us talks about um, family values and so many things. And um, it kind of um, encourages and teaches how you know, we could help match broken families, how you could come together to see the value as family, and how, of course, admit any form of challenge, you could, of course, step out of it and at the same time, make up. Family is everything. Ah, uh, well, f at first, I, I see myself as an entertainer. Um, though I got the opportunity from the Yoruba sector of Nollywood at the early stage of my career, but then as an entertainer and as, as an actor, I, as long as I'm able to communicate a particular language that people can relate with, you know, I can be everywhere. And I don't think that um, they really don't want to, like my other colleagues don't want to come out of their, you know, comfort zone. I don't think so. I think probably maybe as individual, maybe they are not looking that way or the scripts are not really coming from that way based on the fact that probably some might think maybe they don't, they can't speak good English. But I tell you that there are a whole lot of 
graduates, even in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood, but of course, we speak um, the indi indigenous part of it, which of course is different from you speaking English. Oh, I don't think there is anything diverse from it. If you have a very good movie, you have a very good script, and then it's coming to cinema, the movie is good, is good, be it from the English sector or the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. So I don't see it as anything. I just see it as, okay, the cinema is a platform whereby if you have good jobs, bring it and let people enjoy. Uh, well, uh, it's been unique. For me, I see music as life. I see music as a way of expression. And then I, see it, I, I also see it as a way of um, getting across to people you know, in a very short while, unlike movies that, you know, you have to run through for hours before you do get into the movie itself. But uh, for music, music is life for me. Ah, well, I tell you that the reason why I'm still here in terms of uh, my, my musical career is because I people believed in me. And then they kind of give me support and applaud that, okay, you are doing it well, or you, you're doing good. Okay, yes, you have the voice, you can do this. Because I think the first try, the first try I had was when I did Unforgivable, and I did the soundtrack in the movie. I shot the video of the soundtrack, and the people were like, oh, wow, that, that was beautiful. You can blah, 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 blah. So I felt, okay, fine. I think I can still do better. Though I've always been singing even before I got into the entertainment industry. But then, not professionally, until recently, of course. Uh, well, it's not like there is any magic to it. Um, I want to believe hard work and the fact that um, I'm being consistent with what I'm doing has um, actually brought me this far. First and foremost, I do say this, that um, I can't crucify people for their opinion, you know. The fact that something seems right to you doesn't make it wrong to my own end. And the fact that something seems wrong to me at the same time doesn't mean it has to be to your own end. Everybody has right to ease our own opinion. And then um, I kind of like it when people kind of, you know, criticize what I do and um, talk about what I do or kind of give some opinion about what I do. It kind of gives me room to sit down and then, feel, you know, probably take a check on myself if I really have to work on one thing or the other or I just want to have that I don't care attitude that I sometimes, or let me say most times, carry. Because I used to say one thing that um, you cannot pour from an empty cup. It's all about you in the first place. So I'm not that kind of person that can, I don't think I give room to be manipulated by anybody. I am me, it is my life, my choice, and I choose to live it the way I want. I like, the, I like how you started. You know, you were like Yoruba. So I, I'm trying to see the classiness in Yoruba. Like I, like I'm trying to see how, because it's indigenous. We are natural, you know. We don't have to fake it. I don't see. I don't see you being yourself or you being natural to your tribe as being ras. Maybe I don't get the definition of that rasness. The kind of a lot of people kind of see me sometimes. I'm like, ah, you don't do black people. Yeah, you are ras, but you, you are not like that. And I just smile like the fact that. A particular actor is being seen as a Yoruba actor doesn't make him or her to be ras. You know, I don't know. I don't know where like, I really, I don't, I don't get it. But I tell you that we have graduates. We have people that speaks fluently, even in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood, that of some of the people or some of my other colleagues in the English sector, you know, sector, Cannot even withstand. Yes, as far as I am concerned, I don't know. It depends on individual, you know. And um, everybody has a personality outside, you know, what we kind of 
picture out there as make believe world, which is what we do for a living, you know. So. It wasn't like anything happened. People got it twisted. Okay. Uh, you know, sometimes when you just do something out of line, it was just something I did out of line and it wasn't like I had any issue with her or we had any crisis or what have you or anything. Like I said, you know, people get to have different opinion about things and then you see, see things differently. And then I guess it was just people's assumption. It's not a good idea to put pressure on anybody over anything. And um, this marriage of a thing is something I feel like, um, you know, it takes two to tango. And then, of course, we really can't blame our parents or blame the society for them to think, OK, when you attain a particular age, you should be married. The fact that um, as an individual, he or she isn't married at a particular time, everybody or people assume he or she should be doesn't mean he or she doesn't want to you know probably he or she is trying is not working or probably he or she is actually married and then choose not to bring it up on social media platform you know it's all about individuals hi everyone i still remain my humble self dayo amosa keep watching broadway tv it's all about entertainment it's all about fun it's all about news it's all about baby Catch ya.